What do you want to be when you grow up, Olivia? Um, an astronaut. I want to be a fashion designer. Or a basketball player. I want to be an actor. A doctor. A teacher. A chef. An artist. What do you want to be when you grow up? A mermaid. <laughs> do you know what a computer programmer is? Yeah, no. No. Mm, no. I think it's something that has codes and is able to decode a mystery. I think that they... Um, wait, what? Computer programmer? No. Teaching, possibly the stupidest thing in the entire universe, a computer, how to do something. By the time um, I'm eight and a half, I want to have an app on the App Store. You have to do a lot of programming. Um, you gotta have the graphics, um, and then you have to program those graphics. Programming is one of the only things in the world that, that you can do where you can sit down and just make something completely new from scratch, you know, whatever whatever you want. You have to like program everything and be like blah 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 If blah 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 happens, then blah 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 will happen. A lot of the coding that people do is actually fairly simple. Um, it's it's more about the process of breaking down problems than, uh, you know, sort of coming up with complicated algorithms as people traditionally think about it. That's what's really fun because it's like, I think that I should make it where this one is. If someone hits it, it turns into a giant gorilla and runs and starts shooting a gun out of water. When you're playing an app, you're just doing it for fun, and when you're making an app, you're making it for other people to enjoy. The early thing was actually using software to decide when the classes in my school would meet, and that put me in a position to decide which girls were in my class. I've always loved making graphics because I think 8-bit is kind of cool, but I've, al I've always liked the HD version. So yeah, my favorite thing about making apps is definitely um, the graphic designing part of it. Um, I definitely, I really like to do the graphics. It's really, I just kind of bond with that. I don't know, I just have a thing for it. It's fun. The first program I wrote asked uh, things like, what's your favorite color? Or how old are you? I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. The first time I actually had something come up and say, hello world, and it, the, I made a computer do that, it was just astonishing. Yeah, a finished program is like a structure filled with light. All the corners are illuminated. You understand the structure of it. Making an app usually requires a lot more work, and it also is really cool that you're making a functioning app. It took me some time to realize that creating things with your hands or creating code, creating programs, is just a different way to express creativity. I don't know, it just feels really good to be making apps for other people to play and enjoy and appreciate. Now it's just limited by your imagination and sort of what kinds of ideas uh, can you, what kind of understanding can you build in the computer so that it can do these things that were previously impossible. My favorite thing about making apps is that you have something fun to play at the end. When you make your video games, you get that little sense of accomplishment that you did something good. Great things are built in teams when you collaborate with other smart people. You're testing your ideas, you're stimulating each other. That's what, what makes us successful. It's not some flash of brilliance by somebody who then codes 24 hours a day for three weeks. It's what happened. The magic happens when we're all on the same page, collaborating and building something together. So playing an app, you just sit back, relax, and don't look at the details while making an app. Actually, you have to find problems, solve glitches, and make your app really cool. Yeah. I also like bragging to my friends that I've made video games. To get the very best people, we try to make The Office as awesome as possible. We have a fantastic chef. Free food. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Free laundry. Snacks. 
even places to play and video games and scooters. There's all these kind of interesting things uh, around the office and places where people can play or relax or go to think or play music or be creative. All the other kids are like, whoa, you can make an app? And then I was like, yeah, sure can. And then, and then everyone was like, Computers are, are everywhere. You want to work in agriculture? Do you want to work in entertainment? Do you want to work in manufacturing? You know, it's, it's just all over. I could come up with the next Mario. I mean, who knows? So, you guys, what else? Who else has an idea of what we can change with our programming? What else can we do? Tiffany? What I saw my students take away from using Scratch and programming in our classroom is that they were willing to push through problems. Um, it really builds critical thinking. It builds problem solving. And it's something that they can then apply to math in the classroom or their reading skills. We integrated science with this programming and I saw my scores go up 30 percent. It makes me feel smart and, that, and that's kind of cool in my opinion. So. Uh, now nah, they laughed at me and you know all these things and I'm like man I don't care I think it's cool and you know I'm learning a lot and some of my friends have jobs. It's important for these kids it should be mandatory to be a citizen on this planet to read and write code. You know, I never really thought that it was possible that I could actually do this, but it's possible. It's definitely, it's possible. I just think you have to start small, right? And I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions about computer science and programming overall is that you have to learn this big body of information before you can do anything. You don't have to be a genius to know how to code. You need to be determined. Addition, subtraction, uh, that, that's about it. You should probably know your multiplication tables. You don't have to be a genius to code. Do you have to be a genius to read? Do you have to be a genius to do math? No? No? You're trying to make a lot of money, or whether you just want to change the world, computer programming is an incredibly empowering skill to learn. To be able to actually come up with an idea and then see it in your hands and then be able to press a button and have it be in millions of people's hands. Uh, I mean, I think we're the first generation in the world that's really ever had that kind of experience. The programmers of tomorrow are the wizards of the future. You know, you're going to look like you have magic powers compared to everybody else. I think it's amazing. It's, I think it's the closest thing we have to a superpower.